do you recognize who's playing Harpo? That masquerade is a clue to his or her identity. If you don't know who it is now, you'll soon find out on television's most colorful game, Masquerade Party. And here's your host of the Masquerade Party, Richard Dawson. Thank you. Ah, we thank you. We welcome you to Masquerade Party, the show where all the celebrities come in disguise and try and stump our panel of experts. And the experts have to guess who the rascals are beneath the disguise. Now I think we should meet the panel. Here's a gentleman who did the magician courtship of Eddie's father, a marvelous special called Steam Baths, uh, my favorite Martian, and he's a concerned actor. He's done a great deal for the youth of America. I say he's done as much as Al Capone or Jack the Ripper. Here he is, Bill Bixby. Oh! <laughs> Jack the Ripper. <laughs> How are ya? <laughs> Handsome Bill Bixby. Nice to see you all as well. It's good to see you, Richard. Yes, all is fine. The thought for today is the Apple Dumpling Gang, right? Yes. That's the picture that Bill made for Mr. Disney. And I hope you make a lot more. Well, I hope I make them like that, because it is a funny film, I think. Good, I'm glad. Here's a lady who's an absolute delight. A lot of people, apart from her being pretty, do not realize that she's a wit. She does a lot of one-liners. This is mainly because she can't remember two-liners. Lee Merriweather. Oh! Hello. Good morning, Miss Allen. Thank you. Oh, I'll take it. Hey, <laughs> she's This is the darling lady that helps Barnaby Jones every week. Oh, my love, Buddy Ebsen. Yeah, you're he doing a, a marvelous dream. job, and you're doing Thank a great you. job with us here, too. Thank you, we're I'm proud, having fun. aren't we, Will? Pardon me? We're proud of her. Oh, I'm not only Wait, proud of her. Those... I get to look at her all the time. That's why I didn't hear your question. Do those quick naps help yeah. you during the day? Uh, here's the poet laureate of the masquerade party, Mr. Nipsey Russell. <laughs> Every week, he delights us with a poem that he's written. Have you written one for us today? I have indeed. Mother Nature and Father Time can't get together, it seems, because by the time we learn the games, we're too old to make the team. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, I think it's time that we got this party started. Let's do it by meeting masquerader number one. <laughs> Can you stop that? Go on over there. <laughs> what are you... What are you doing? Will you stop that? Hey, oh, just... Don't strangle him. He's an important star. Just stay still while we give the audience at home and our studio audience a clue to your disguise. Harpo was a zany comedian, and so is our masquerader. Okay, now, panel, you couldn't hear the clue, neither could I. All we've got to go on is what we see right in front of us. I'm going to give you a minute to think things over, give our audience a little time to mull over the clue while we all watch this. <laughs> <laughs> You've all had a minute to think things over, and you can see I've joined the family. They were coming apart. Thank you. Now, just take a good look at that disguise. You really think you know who it is, huh? Well, we're going to show you right now. Buddy Man, Charles Nelson Riley. You do a good job, I'll get you a fountain pen. All right, Bill, we're gonna start with you. Why I say that, I don't know. We always start with you. I hate starting with a bill. I usually end up paying it, but never mind. <laughs> we have three questions. All right, um, uh, Harpo never says anything, as you have not said anything. So is it possible you started your career in silent films? Certainly didn't. And he didn't start it in talkies either. Well, since both of you uh, are 
the Marx Brothers, is it possible that you are a famous brother of a famous brother, a team? You're losing air. You better get your lips vulcanized. No, it's absolutely correct. The answer is no. One more question. Well, you've been, uh, you've been honking your horn and making a lot of noise, but you haven't been saying anything. Could you possibly be a politician? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we've been on the air five years, and now he gets hot. <laughs> the answer is no. A very good question. And now, Lee, you mm. have to start. But don't start yet. I have to hold you. I'd like to hold you for a little longer, but duty calls. <laughs> tell him your name, handsome. Go on, tell him your name. Do it again. One more time. I'll give you a clue. It's not Lena Horn. But there you go. <laughs> Honk, honk, honk. No, it's three honks. Honk, yes, honk. Three honks. Honk. Why don't you honkies get together and get the hell out of here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, I, the horn, uh, it was, uh, oh, it was my, one of my favorite actors uh, was in Horatio Hornblower. Uh, are you Gregory Peck? He certainly is. He's a grubby little devil. Well, Harpo's, uh, Harpo's real name is Arthur. Would you be uh, a famous Arthur? Uh, not author, but art, like art. <laughs> when did that die? <laughs> no, he's You're, not a famous author. You, uh, yeah, Nipsey just pointed out real estate. Uh, sales and rentals. Does that uh, have something? Uh... Ooh! Are you dressed as uh, as Harpo because you're a, uh, quite a famous comedian? You certainly is. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Well, that's your three questions. Oh. And now, Nipsey, well. we're going to get a little help from you, if we may. Why don't you... Uh... Help Nipsey by showing him your name. I think that's enough for anybody. Carry on. Three questions. <laughs> We're just rehearsing. Three well, questions. I think when you when you told him to uh, give his name, his name must have either three parts to it or two names with a middle initial, cause he get honk. Well, honk, he honk. could stutter, you know. <laughs> <laughs> So he's got three names, and he's a comedian. And that uh, wrestling hole that he put on you uh, looked like to me like a half Nelson. Mm -hmm. Am I coming along? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> oh, ho, yes. Well? Charles Nelson Riley. Come on. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, yes. They were beautiful. Come back here. Give me that. And he's... Why don't he you show, show him that face that I look at every day on Match Game. I'm sorry, makeup. We worked so hard. <laughs> Mr. Charles, you now see a lot of my arms. Yes. No! Oh, that's oh, all right. you. Oh, you're <laughs> marvelous. <laughs> that's Just give me that. I watch and work with this young man on a game called Mac we. Match We're game. all friends. Yes. We all have worked together. Well, we've worked together again. And here we are. We've got to go somewhere where we're not known. Why don't we go to the next studio? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Thank Charles you. Nelson Riley. Have a good time. Thank you, Charles. You know, Lee, you're a saucy little baggage and a baggy little sausage. <laughs> and now let's meet our next masquerader. Why not? <laughs> well, thank you. We put a mustache on you and you change completely. Well, it's very sanitary, isn't it? Thank you. 
forward. <laughs> Step forward, Masquerado. And we will let everyone in the audience know who this Masquerado really is. Came as Dracula because this masquerader played a weird character on television. Morticia of the Adams Family movie and TV star Carolyn Jones. Oh. All right, Lee, darling. Going to start with you, pretty Lee. Three questions, huh? Well, the, with Dracula, immediately I I I go to blood. Um, yes. Yes. Did you, by any chance, appear in the picture Blood. Sunday, Bloody Sunday? <laughs> Blood and sand. Blood and sand. I'll go down the line. No, that's just one question. Not uh, at all. Not at all. Uh, well, Chamber of Horrors, have you ever starred in a, a horror film? Not at all. Bravo. I'm getting something with the movements and everything else. I just wonder, are you a female Dracula? Uh huh. Oh, that kills my whole Wooden hook. Yes, a female Dracula. One up for woman's lib, and that's your three questions. <laughs> Nipsey, you are next, but we are going to give you a little help. Do you have a clue for Nippola? <laughs> Nippola? <laughs> He was a shorthand typist at one time. Very nice. That's the clue. Three questions. Nippy. Well, uh, I, <laughs> I was thinking uh, Fred Gwynn until she said it's a woman. Uh, were you in a picture with the Wolfman? I see you uh, had the Wolfman to do your bidding there. Yet. Let me see. What, what, were you in, uh, 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 we've got something else, Chamber of Horrors, Frankenstein. Maybe it had nothing to do with Dracula himself. Uh, does uh, the whole syndrome of horror pictures have some reference to you? Like, uh, that's right, huh? Okay. Well, are you a, a member of a, of a whole family, family of horror people? That does not mean the Nixons. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to be aware. Very good. Three questions now. Bill, Bill, just for you. We have a clue. Please. These flowers are very dreary. I will make a nice arrangement of them. <laughs> Very nice. Very I know. Could this group of monsters, the, all of which you say uh, are in this, are the same show, could this be called a family yeah. of monsters? Right. This does not mean Aunt Sam wants you. <laughs> And beside being the brilliant actress that you are, is it possible that you are also an authoress? It couldn't possibly be Carolyn Jones. Yeah, <laughs> rascal. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Let me hold your cigarette hole. <laughs> Was that fun? Oh, that was great. You were a great, you were a great old horror. You said, <laughs> but you got all the clues exactly. You want to take that off for oh, us, my pretty I? lady? Oh, I swear. See the face it. that we always see. That's part of it. How could you make oh, a just creature like this look like that? Uh, oh, God, there goes the nose. Quiet, Morticia herself. Oh, oh. I think I can yeah, get rid of this, too. Miss Carolyn Oh, oh, God, it, it feels like a mask. You know, you go and pay $9 million for that someplace. You look darling, and we thank you for being with us. Thank you. It was my pleasure. You see, oh. you're absolutely right about her being a fine authoress, uh. and her husband is an author. Oh, I read the very God. first book you had, but here's a book that you've both written. Yes. Herbert Green is Carolyn's husband, and Carolyn gotten together, and they've written a book that I've 
read, and I must tell you, it's called Diary of a Food Addict, and there are a lot of diet books around. And the way it's based on, very similar to the way if you have a drinking problem, you have to commit yourself not to take that drink. You have to think that you way to stay. I read it. May I read it on the plane back to New York? For a dollar ninety-five plus <laughs> six, no plus six ninety-five. I've got to make make a couple, make a couple of bucks. <laughs> it really gives you hope if you have a weight problem, and it's a book. There's no reason for me to plug it because I'm not here to plug books. It's a good book. Go out and buy it because I love this lady, Miss mm. Carolyn Jones. Thank you. Thank you. Very lady. All righty, coming up next, another celebrity masquerader, and then a chance for someone in our studio audience to win a nice big <coughs> prize. Right after this, uh -huh. with these. <laughs> All right, Panna, you're pretty smart. You got two out of two so far. I think we might fool you. Masquerader number three. All righty, let's tell everybody, except the panel, who you are. This showboat captain is a famous TV captain, Captain Kirk of Star Trek. It's William Shatner. Okay, Nipsey. You got three questions, Nipsey. Uh, you're a captain of a, sh uh, of a showboat, obviously. Did you play in a great uh, musical film or variety special? Uh-uh. That mean, that mean no, no. <laughs> no, no. Mean, no, no, no. Okay, I'll go, <laughs> I'll go to something I see on the um, pilings there. On the, the pilings is a pile of pilings. Well, it looks like a frisbee's there. Uh, the frisbees or flying saucers You're or something else? You're ahead of your time. I'll get to that in all good time. Okay, you get to that in good time. That's right. Captain Frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> Personal friend of Captain <laughs> Well, uh, a, a, the name of your boat there says Dixie Bell. Are you a famous... Personality from the South, but like uh, Minnie Pearl or somebody like that. I was a chicken, but I ain't Minnie Pearl. <laughs> you was a chicken, but not Minnie Pearl. All right, Pearl. that's your three okay. questions. <laughs> now, Bill, you're going to be next, but we're going to get you a little help. Come on aboard, folks, and see the big show. The show boat goes all the way up and down this river, and we've got the biggest stars to entertain you. Why, we got stars you haven't even seen yet. Come on, folks. Come on on board. Up on the house. Right, okay. There you go. Belly Street Questions. Come on. Come on. Come on yeah. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Could the fact that you are playing a captain not necessarily relate to a boat? Could it relate to another object? Could be. That's right. <laughs> uh... Well, it's called it's called the Dixie Star. No, it's right. my boat. <laughs> right. Uh, you thought it was Dixie Bell, yeah. And come I'm on, gonna come on, get your question. I'm gonna go for the frisbee one that he never, because he said spaceship. Is it possible the Dixie Star could represent something like a Star Trek? A Star Trek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could be. That's very good, Bill. That's your three questions. <laughs> Lee. This is oh, your big moment, yeah. but we're even going to help you right now. Oh, yeah. Give this darling a clue, will you please? Yeah, and Nipsey, yeah. he inquired about him. That is your clue. Wow. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to try, I try, I try and get right to you, honey. Try and behead <laughs> Nipsey. <laughs> I never could get to you, honey. Oh. <laughs> no, her weakness is liquor. Oh, oh. Got him. come on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, Lee, you got three questions. Would I have appeared in Star Trek with you, my dear? My darling, it was one of the finest moments of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Would you play cat? Oh, you oh, you yes, I did. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, Bell, no fair. I didn't even get my second question. The bell went. You Time better be waiting. The bell went. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> right here. I loved it. Uh, <laughs> am I right? I don't know yet whether we had it or not. 
Take it off. Take man. it off. Here it comes. You can't really understand the joy that is <laughs> Mr. William Shatner, ladies and gentlemen. This is the worst experience yeah, in my life. Yeah, no. <laughs> it was great. Arms. Oh my yeah, God. Did it, was it fun? Yeah, it was really, it was really fun. Sitting an sure hour and a half had. in the makeup chair. <laughs> Well, that's always yeah, fun, isn't being it? Being made older. I wouldn't take that off. You won't have a microphone. Oh. Poor devil. I'm going to say goodbye to him anyway. <laughs> and we don't want him to oh, not yeah. be able to. We thank yeah, you for being yeah. with us. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the captain of the Star Trek, Mr. William Shatner. There you go. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> oh, hey. Alrighty, so far our panel of experts have been doing all the guessing and now we're going to let you folks at home play along. <laughs> Give somebody in our studio audience a chance to win a nice big prize by unmasking the next masquerader. Jay, what will they win? It's a stereo from Electrophonic, one of the world's largest manufacturers of stereo products, Electrophonic's new total stereo system. And the World Book Encyclopedia two-volume dictionary containing 2,300 pages and 2,000 illustrations. Richard? All right, thank you, Jay. All right, home and studio audience, this is your challenge when we meet masquerader number four. Or three and a half, I'll accept. Get ready, Chris. You chicken out me, I'll pull your belly button out. <laughs> I'm gonna give them to them, some kids. Yeah. <laughs> Little blonde, blonde, put your hand down, champ. Winners. What I tell you I'll say. give you the microphone. Okay. What's your name? Chris. That's right. One thing we say each night when we pray. One thing we say each night when we pray. I can't quite get through my head. I can't quite get through my head. If I should die before I wake. If I should die before I wake. How would I know I was dead? How would I know I was dead? <laughs> Now, uh... You people are late! <laughs> you missed the first of the show! Nipsey, the bad news is the kid's taking over for you next year. <laughs> Five, four, yeah. three, two... Yeah, let's go. What do you got there? Hey, uh, I found this double bag out in the street. Is it belong to anybody here? I don't know. Stand it up straight a minute. Let me just take a look at it. Uh, okay. All right. Now, you know, panel, what you got to do. You got to dig out clues to help that person in the audience win the prize, right? You get one question each and no names. I'll start with Nipsey. Is, uh, is the word uh, spade a clue to your identity? And be careful. <laughs> yeah, it would, uh, yes. It would be a clue, yep. Lee? The uniform that you're wearing, have you ever portrayed that character? Heavens, yes. Yeah, policeman. Good question, Lee. Many times. Billy? The, uh, the sign on the bar, behind the bar, that says Duffy's Bar, would that be a clue to your identity? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. It would. You're really sharp today. Good. And audience, that were very good clues there for you. And right now, we're going to go out into our audience mm -hmm. and get a couple of people who think they might know who this right. masquerader is. We'll do that right after this. <laughs> Shame on you talking That's while I have such pretty it. ladies here. These ladies we found in the audience, and they think they know who our masquerader is. And if either one of them's right, they're going to get that nice prize we talked about. And what's your name? Joan Hammer. And where are you from? England. What part of England? London. Well, you heard him cheering. <laughs> who do you think it is? Howard Duff. 
Howard Duff, all right. Your name? Barbara Lamas. That's very good. That's correct, too. Uh, where are you from, darling, Barbara? Beautiful downtown Burbank. Ah, all right. Yeah. Who do you think it is? That's Howard Duff from Duffy's Tavern. You think it's Howard Duff as well? I love this belt, by the way. Well, if you're both correct, you're going to get the prize. And if you're you know, wrong, we'll have a prize for you either way. They both think it's Howard Duff. Would you show us who you really are, please, Masquerader? Thank you. Thank you. Getting close. This is so easily. <laughs> Mr. Howard Duff. Very good. That's great. Stick it in there. How do you like the way I lost my characterization right in the whole thing? I Listen, started out you, to be Brooklyn, right? You did a good job. You saw the clues there. Mm -hmm. Mr. Adam Brooklyn. and Eve, right? And South Sam Brooklyn. Spade, the original Sam Spade mm -hmm. on the radio. Right. You both get that great prize, and we're very proud of you, right? We've got a party going on. Should we wander Should over there? That party? Would you really? Yeah. Got some champagne. Ladies, come and join us. Howard, right over there. Get him. Yeah. We did the prize. Sorry, we did the. There's no loser. How do you do a loser prize? How do you do a loser prize? Oh, sure. Now you tell me they get extra. You get extra prize. Get your ass back up there. <laughs> Listen, I'm delighted to give you extra prizes. Howard, come back, please. No, no. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I guarantee it'll be elbow macaroni. You'll be. <laughs> I knew who that was without any clues. Though. Did you really? I yeah. Very much, uh, I wasn't well, that's difficult. It's, di it's yeah. difficult because you're locked in there with that. The eyes and the shape. You're gonna come in on me. Start with me. All righty. Gotcha. You. <laughs> You not only won the big prize, I'm delighted to tell you we've got some extra prizes for you. Thank you. All right, what are they, Jay? Well, there's a supply of Nescafe instant coffee with big dark chunks and big bean flavor, real coffee flavor, Nescafe. And a supply of rice -a the big flavor side dish that's so quick and easy to saute and simmer to flavor perfection. rice -a the San Francisco treat. Now back to you, Richard Dawson. All righty, thank you, Jay. Ours is a party. Ladies, come on, let's go. I thank you for being with us. We had fun. Charlie, what can I tell you? Thank you. You're beautiful. I'm fine, thank you. Lee? Yes, love. Thank you. Carolyn? We'll buy your book. Good. Howard, you were marvelous, and thank you. Thank you, my old oh. No, no, Howard's right here, but he's just taking on. <laughs> William, I thank you kindly. Keep working hard. You're a good actor. We thank you for being with us. Bill? Yes. Thank sir. you. Well, Pepsi? Yes. Thank you. Most of all, we thank you for watching. Will you tune in next week when we try and unwig some of the big wigs on television's most colorful game, The Masquerade Party? Stephen Hayden's Body Hall production. This program was pre recorded. Jay Stewart speaking. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And check out my Facebook page for other exciting content.